Hi guys, I'm Beth Ann Wagner. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I am here to talk to you guys about Halo today. But first, I just wanna say, most of what I do is fitness and nutrition related. Go ahead and check me out on Instagram if you don't follow me there already. Here on YouTube, I tend to talk about a lot of things, but lately it's been in-office beauty procedures, which I love, and I had the opportunity of talking about Halo because my dermatologist had the Halo machine in his office. He had it like for just a couple of days. It was like a Friday to a Tuesday. They were letting him borrow it to see if it was something that he wanted to get for his office and I happened to be in there for my Botox when he had the machine so he asked if I wanted to get it and I was like, yes, absolutely, I wanna get Halo. So one of his nurses, performed the halo on me. Her name is Christy. She's been doing it for years and Christy is actually training a lot of the nurses and doctors on the west coast where I live to do halo. So I thought what the heck this procedure is something that I've really been interested in for two years now maybe even three years now and they were going to give me the opportunity to try it in exchange for talking about how the procedure went because of course they are interested in offering it at Ocean Cosmetic Medicine. So I am 99% sure they're going to start offering it and I wanna talk about my experience in case it's something you're interested in, which you're here. So I'm guessing that it is. So hopefully this is relatable. I'll start with the day of. I went in to get my halo and they put this numbing cream on you the numbing cream stays on you for like 30 to 60 minutes before you go in and get your halo. The halo can be rather painful. Um, now I've tried other procedures like Morpheus 8. This doesn't compare to that at all. This is a lot more, I would say, comfortable and fast than a Morpheus 8, but you still do need the numbing cream on. So you go in, get that on, then when it's your turn, to go in for your halo. The whole thing only takes about 20 minutes and they're using ablative and non-ablative lasers. So the difference there is ablative is going to take off like the whole first layer of your skin and really promote collagen production. And then the non-ablative is going to heat up the bottom layers of your skin, which also promotes collagen production. So you're gonna get like a lift and then overall resurfacing of the skin since you're taking off that top layer. So it's just a really, really beautiful and incredible machine that's going to give you a huge difference in your skin texture, the clarity, it makes your spots go away and those fine lines that are sort of like around the eyes and in the crow's feet, which is an area that I definitely wanted to work on. So the whole thing takes about 20 minutes and it feels like you have like a sparkler like that you would use on the 4th of July, you know, sparkle, sparkle and that's just sort of like going across your face, but there's really not a lot of pain there. It's just sort of an unfamiliar feeling. You do have cool air when you are getting the procedure, so I'm doing the cold air the whole time that Nurse Christy is doing the sparkler, and then before you know it, you are done. And you are thinking, wow, that really wasn't that bad. Like, let's do that again. Then you're going to get into your car and it feels as if you had like taken jalapenos, seeds and all, you were making salsa, and then you just rubbed the jalapenos on your face. It's really, really hot. I put the AC up all the way in my car as I drove back home, which was like a 40 minute drive and it was just like pumping cold air and that made it feel a lot better. After about an hour, that hot feeling that you get from the procedure really does go away and you are left with MENDS, M-E-N-D-S. I'm gonna make sure I'm telling you what that stands for, so getting my phone. So MENDS, it, it, they're microscopic wounds from the treatment, but what it stands for is microscopic epidermal necrotic debris. What the MENDS are, are like this tiny brown spots all over your face. So I'll show you, I have images here of day, like right after the procedure and then of day one, you have these tiny spots all over and that's the sun damage coming to the surface of your skin and what that's going to do is slough off. So while that's sloughing off, you are washing your face so gently, like very gently with a very gentle cleanser because you do not want to scrape or scratch that off. You want it to heal on its own. 
and it does start healing on its own. But here's the thing, girlfriend, is it's going to heal sort of slow, like seven days. So here's day one, day two. By day three, you're starting to look a little bit normal, a little less red. You're still going out in public because you have to, but you're not feeling super great about it. Day four rolls around, huh? looking a little bit better. By day five, you're like, okay, maybe I just have a mild sunburn. And then day six, you're like, I cannot wait for tomorrow. I know it's gonna be so much better. And you wake up on day seven, that tightness sort of goes away, the dryness goes away, the men's are pretty much gone. You're wearing makeup, you're feeling fabulous, and you are going about your normal life again. So that is one thing that I wasn't fully prepared for was the downtime. I don't really care that much. It didn't bother me. I still walked around. Also, we do have a mask mandate currently where I live in Los Angeles, so my face was half covered most of the time. But it definitely did look like I had a pretty bad sunburn when I did go out. So be prepared. If you have like a really professional job and you are on Zoom all the time and you cannot be looking crazy, don't get this yet. All in all, 100% worth it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So it got rid of all of the discoloration I had, which was like really specifically right here on the cheeks, especially on the left side where I drive. It's completely gone. The skin is super soft. It's been about 12 weeks now since I did it. So I am seeing the joys of the collagen production that it helped stimulate. So it's just a really amazing procedure. It is definitely the most intense procedure that I've ever had done. I've done IPL, we've done the Morpheus 8, of course Botox, but this was like really getting after it and I'm really happy about it. If you do wanna keep it up, I am told by Dr. Scheftel and Nurse Christy that you can do one like every year. Obviously, everybody's gonna get recommended something different, um, but I would definitely go back in a year to try to keep this up. Another thing that I will know is um, for every individual it is going to be different, like just how far down you go. So um, they measure it in, not millimeters, but I gotta look this up. So for you today, I'll probably go 450 microns deep into the skin. So you could go different depths. We went 450 microns into the skin. If you need something a little bit more intense or less intense, they're gonna do that based on what you need. So take all of that into consideration when you're talking to your doctor or your girlfriends or whatever about whether or not this would be a good fit for you because they really are going to make it something that is super adaptable to you as far as how much surface area they cover, how deep they go, and how often you're going to need or want this procedure. But it's something that I really, really loved. If you are in the LA area just visiting or you live here, please be sure to go to Ocean Cosmetic Medicine and check it out. Dr. Scheftel and Nurse Christy are fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like these kinds of videos. I would love to hear in the comments what you wanna see because I do cover nutrition and fitness on my Instagram. So if it's something of interest here too, we can do more of that. Have a good day.